What's good YouTube is in now on 57 get a snow hitter day to talk about the PS4. Now before all the fanboys and all the haters get all crazy and stuff over the title, the title is only there as a way to draw people in to listen. So please listen before you dislike and run off. If you want to dislike and run off, do it. I don't give a shit. But all the other people who have some sort of sense in their head, listen to the commentary first. So gameplay in the background is a cranked bulldog gameplay. I wanted to do it on the map strike zone, but I ended up doing it on freight. Um, I wanted to show off this gun to its full potential at close range. I've done pretty well on freight though, so I thought I'd leave it in and include it. So if you want to class it up on this gun um, for crank, let me know. I'll get it done in the next couple of days. Let me know by liking the video and hit me up in the comments. So let's talk PS4. Now, there's been multiple issues since the, the console has released. And I'm not hating on PS4. I'm not, a, so, I'm not an Xbox fanboy, you know what I mean? Xbox One hasn't been released yet, so I can't talk about its faults or its good points because it hasn't been released yet. Now, I've watched people upload PS4 content, and to me, Killzone just looks so dry and boring. It really does. Uh, graphics are amazing on it, don't get me wrong. Graphics on all the games are amazing. Um, so that's a plus point, definitely, the graphics. The game, Killzone, just looks boring. Um, the built-in game, Playroom or whatever... Looks fun and entertaining for like an hour, but then you'll just never do play with it again, I reckon. Um, it did show off the camera's quality is pretty good, but the responsiveness when with the voice commands was really, really slow, in my opinion, compared to the, uh, the Kinect. But, you know, that's neither here nor there. Let's talk about the real issues. Um, I've had people talk about flimsy controllers and broken controllers, etc. There's no actual factual evidence of that, though. That's just word of mouth. Could just be people getting crazy and hyper and... Um, over exaggerating because they're panicking but there's been issues such as overheating problems where the light on the Xbox goes red and then they have to turn it off and leave it for a while and turn it back on and people feel it's overheating too quick but it's not breaking which is a which is a plus point because it has that warning I've had other people get an orange light where it just stops working the PlayStation and it works once you switch it off and switch it back on now that just seems like a unnecessary problem that just wastes time who knows why it does it i don't know if it's happening to everyone but the big thing i want to talk about and this is this has factual evidence is that people are suffering from the blue light of death now this is when the playstation 4 gets a blue light across the side and the whole console just stops working just just stops working completely and they will patch it they will get around to fixing it obviously but i don't i don't reckon they know what's causing it yet now sony have come out and said that 0.4 percent of the PlayStation 4 consumers and customers are suffering from this blue light of death. Now they say 0.4% to make it sound really small and in comparison in the grand scheme of things it is a small amount of people who are suffering from it. If that fact and statistic is true it could be more it could be less who knows. Um, so 0.4% let's put it into terms of a million. So a million consoles sold which is very easily done by now. That's 4,000 people who suffer from the blue light of death. Now 4,000 people is a lot of people and this should have been washed out and crushed during the development of the console and the testing phases in my opinion. Maybe, I don't know, I don't understand why it wouldn't happen in the test phase and then happen when everyone gets it at home. Um, hopefully they get a fix for it though because it seems like a bit of a shame for those minority of people who are suffering from this. Um, I don't know whether they'll get a PS4 replacement or they have to wait for like I don't know a patch update But I've heard that the console doesn't work at all. So I don't know how you would get on to to get that fix um, So yeah, looks like they've had a shaky shaky release a, a lot of people aren't gonna focus on these faults and stuff And I've got nothing but love for what I've seen of the PS4 at the moment It seems like a really good console, but it's just not me personally. I prefer the Xbox one I will be getting a PS4 at a later date as well um, But yeah let me know what you think about the PS4 and things you've seen and things you've heard. Leave them in the comments and let's just get to talking about this and all the haters and, you know, all the people who just are ignorant to everything. Just fuck off, yeah? <laughs> um, but that's me done for today. Like a favourite this video if you haven't already. Subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know if you want the Bulldog Cranked Setup um, class setup and any other class setups to be honest name me some guns and I'll make some class setups for them and, and make some gameplays of them But that's me done for today. Peace out. Take care